Tet. Tet, or Vietnamese New Year, is the most important celebration of Vietnamese culture. The word is a shortened form of Tet Nguyen Dan, which is Sino-Vietnamese for feast of the first morning of the first day. Tet celebrates the arrival of spring based on the Vietnamese variation of the Chinese lunisolar calendar, which usually has the date falling between the months of January or February. Tet is celebrated on the same day as Chinese New Year, though exceptions arise due to the one-hour time difference between Hanoi and Beijing resulting in the alternate calculation of the new moon. It takes place from the first day of the first month of the Vietnamese calendar, around late January or early February, until at least the third day. Many Vietnamese prepare for Tet by cooking special holiday foods and cleaning the house. These food includes bam chung, bam day, dried young bamboo soup, can mang, jiao and sticky rice. There are a lot of customs practiced during Tet, such as visiting a person's house on the first day of the new year, Xong Nha, ancestral worshipping, wishing New Year's greetings, giving lucky money to children and elderly people, and opening a shop. Tet is also an occasion for pilgrims and family reunions. During Tet, Vietnamese visit their relatives and temples, forgetting about the troubles of the past year and hoping for a better upcoming year. They consider Tet to be the first day of spring and the festival is often called Hoi Xuan, Spring Festival. Customs Vietnamese people usually return to their families during Tet. Some return to worship at the family altar or visit the graves of their ancestors in their homeland. They also clean the grave of their family as a sign of respect. Although Tet is a national holiday among all Vietnamese, each region and religion has its own customs. Tet in the three Vietnamese regions can be divided into three periods, known as Tat Nien, penultimate New Year's Eve, Duc Thua, New Year's Eve, and Tan Nien, the New Year, representing the preparation before Tet, the Eve of Tet, and the days of and following Tet, respectively. All of these customs are to celebrate Tet and Vietnam. Before New Year's Eve This period begins one or two weeks before the actual celebration. The general atmosphere leading up to Tet is in the bustle of shopping, decorating the home, cooking traditional Tet food and waiting for relatives to return home. People try to pay off their debts in advance so that they can be debt-free on Tet. Parents buy new clothes for their children so that the children can wear them when Tet arrives. In the days leading up to Tet, the streets and markets are full of people. As the shops will be closed during Tet, people try to stock up on supplies as much as possible. Vietnamese families usually have a family altar, to show respect to their ancestors. During Tet the altar is thoroughly cleaned and new offerings are placed there. This includes a tray of five different fruits on the altar called Mam Gu Kue, literally, five fruits type. Traditionally, the three kitchen guardians for each house, on Tao, kitchen god, who report to the Jade Emperor about the events in the Taos over the past year, return to heaven in the 23rd day of the 12th month by lunar calendar. Their departure is marked by a modest ceremony where the family offers sacrifices for them to use on their journey. In the days leading up to Tet, each family cooks special holiday foods such as Bam Chung and Bam Day. Preparations for these foods are quite extensive. Family members often take turns to keep watch on the fire overnight, telling each other stories about Tet of past years. Vietnamese families also buy home peach blossom trees, kumquat trees and orange trees. They also buy flowers to decorate their homes such as chrysanthemum or orchid. He plant these flowers and put them into beautiful pots in front of the house or inside the house. The New Year the first day of Tet is reserved for the nuclear family. Children receive a red envelope containing money from their elders. This tradition is called Mung Tilwa, Happy New Age, in the north and Li Zai in the south. Usually, children wear their new clothes and give their elders the traditional Tet greetings before receiving the money. Since the Vietnamese believe that the first visitor a family receives in the year determines their fortune for the entire year, People never enter any house on the first day without being invited first. The act of being the first person to enter a house on Tet is called Xong Dat, 
Tuk Song Nha or Dap Dat, which is one of the most important rituals during Tet. According to Vietnamese tradition, if good things come to the family on the first day of the Lunar New Year, the entire following year will also be full of blessings. Usually, a person of good temper, morality and success will be the lucky sign for the host family and be invited first into the house. However, just to be safe, the owner of the house will leave the house a few minutes before midnight and come back just as the clock strikes midnight to prevent anyone else entering the house first who might potentially bring any unfortunate events in the new year to the household. Sweeping during Tet is taboo or kshari, unlucky, since it symbolizes sweeping the luck away. That is why they clean before the new year. It is also taboo for anyone who experienced a recent loss of a family member to visit anyone else during Tet. During subsequent days, people visit relatives and friends. Traditionally but not strictly, the second day of Tet is usually reserved for friends, while the third day is for teachers, who command respect in Vietnam. Local Buddhist temples are popular spots as people like to give donations and to get their fortunes told during Tet. Children are free to spend their new money on toys or on gambling games such as Bao Kue Ka Kop, which can be found in the streets. Prosperous families can pay for dragon dancers to perform at their house. There are also public performances for everyone to watch. Traditional Celebrations These celebrations can last from a day up to the entire week, and the new year is filled with people in the streets trying to make as much noise as possible using firecrackers, drums, bells, gongs, and anything they can think of to ward off evil spirits. This parade will also include different masks, and dances hidden under the guise of what is known as the Mualan or lion dancing. The lan is an animal between a lion and a dragon, and is the symbol of strength in the Vietnamese culture that is used to scare away evil spirits. After the parade, families and friends will come together to have a feast of traditional Vietnamese dishes, and share the happiness and joy of the new year with one another. This is also the time where the elders will hand out red envelopes with money to the children for good luck in exchange for Tet greetings, below. Decorations Traditionally, each family displays K New, an artificial New Year tree consisting of a bamboo pole 5 to 6 meters long. The top end is usually decorated with many objects, depending on the locality, including good luck charms, origami fish cactus branches, etc. At Tat every house is usually decorated by Ho Mai, Ekna and Tejerima, in the central and southern parts of Vietnam, or Ho Dao, peach flower, in the northern part of Vietnam, or Ho Ban, in mountain areas. In the north, some people, especially the elite in the past, also decorate their house with a ponus mume tree, also called Mai in Vietnamese, but referring to a totally different species from a Kna and Tejerima. In the north or central, the kumquat tree is a popular decoration for the living room during Tet. Its many fruits symbolize the fertility and fruitfulness that the family hopes for in the coming year. Vietnamese people also decorate their homes with bonsai and flower plants such as chrysanthemum, ho cuc, marigold, bamboo, symbolizing longevity, celosia, malgar, in southern Vietnam and paper white flower, Thuy Ten, Ho Bom in northern Vietnam. In the past, there was a tradition that old people tried to make their paper white flowers blossom right the watch night time. They also hung up Dong Ho paintings and Vu Fap, calligraphy pictures. Greetings The traditional greetings are Shuk Mung Nam Moi, Happy New Year, and Kung Shuk Tan Xuan, Gracious Wishes of the New Spring. People also wish each other prosperity and luck. Common wishes for Tet include Song La Tram De Wa, long life of 100 years, used by children for elders. Traditionally, everyone is one year older on Tet, so children would wish their grandparents health and longevity in exchange for Mung De Wa or Li Zai, Li Shi, and Kang Thai and and Kang Crossing Wang, security, good health, and prosperity. Ban Su Nhuy, Wan Chu Rui, may myriad things go according to your will. Su Ku Doi Dao, plenty of health. Kung Hai Fat Tai, from the Cantonese Kung Eri Fat Choi, Gong Zai Fa Kai, congratulations and be prosperous. 
10 Vo NHU New York, may money flow in like water, used informally. Food In Vietnamese language, to celebrate Tet is to in Tet, literally meaning eat Tet, showing the importance of food in its celebration. Some of the food is also eaten year-round, while other dishes are only eaten during Tet. Also, some of the food is vegetarian since it is believed to be good luck to eat vegetarian on Tet. Some traditional food on Tet are Barm chewing and barn Tet, essentially tightly packed sticky rice with meat or bin fillings wrapped in dong, frinium placentarium, leaves. When these leaves are unavailable banana leaves can be used as a substitute. One difference between them is their shape. Balm chewing are the square-shaped ones, while balm tet are cylindrical. Also, balm chewing is more popular in the northern parts of Vietnam, so as balm tet is more popular in the southern. Preparation is time-consuming, and can take days to cook. The story of their origins and their connection with tet is often recounted to children while cooking them overnight. Hat dua, roasted watermelon seeds, also eaten during tet. Dua han pickled onion and pickled cabbage. Ku kiu, pickled small leeks. Mutt, these dried candied fruits are rarely eaten at any time besides tet. Khao dua duk shaya, in southern Vietnam, popular fruits used for offerings at the family altar in fruit arranging are to the custard apple sugar apple sauce op, mang cow, coconut, dua, papaya, du du, and mango, kshaya, since they sound like cow duxi, pray for enough to use. In the southern dialect of Vietnamese, thit co nuoc dua meaning meat stewed in coconut juice, it is a traditional dish of pork belly and medium boiled eggs stewed in a broth-like sauce made overnight of young coconut juice and nuoc mam. It is often eaten with pickled bean sprouts and chives, and white rice. Games and Entertainment People enjoy traditional games during Tet, including, bao kue ka kop, ko chuong, nem con, Choi Tro, Daga and Marshmallow Toss. They also participate in some competitions presenting their knowledge, strength and aestheticism, such as the Bird Competition and Nam Thu Competition. Firework display has also become an irreplaceable part of a Tet celebration in Vietnam. During the New Year's Eve, firework displays at major cities like Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, Da Nang, a broadcast through multiple national and local TV channels, accompanied by New Year wishes of the current president. Gap and HAU Kiwa Nam, Year End Gathering, is a national favorite comedy show broadcast until the last 30 minutes before the New Year's Eve. The Euro pop song Happy New Year by Swedish band ABBA is usually played during the festival nowadays.